What's going on, fam? This is your boy D Rose from Supreme Black Podcast. If you're new, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Um, now, it's been official that Elon Musk has purchased Twitter, right? Uh, huge power move. However, I was on Instagram and was just doing some scrolling and had received a video of somebody stating that, you know, Sean King. I salute what he does. He does post a lot of things and that mainstream media doesn't cover. So from a grassroots perspective, I, I highly salute, right? Um, because most people don't do it. But, he, you know, we have the freedom of speech, right? Uh, but this particular post, um, I can't agree with. Um, I don't think that, you know, with Elon Musk purchasing Twitter, is mainly about you know white power and white control and he had made that post and i just think that sometimes there isn't a reason to inject race or racism into everything right uh, because the truth of the matter is is it's hard enough for people to have freedom of speech and if he feels that taking twitter private would allow people to come on and speak without censorship that's fine um and this is why i say that is because at the end of the day i feel that there are particular groups you know white people other ethnicities that don't have censorship and are able to speak freely as, as they want to. I don't think that from what I see that black content creators are pushed out into the space to where it could equally impact people. Now there are people with voices, but for us to go against Elon wanting to make it without consequence that you could freely speak, no matter how it be and not, no matter how it may come out, I can't disagree with that, honestly, is because at the end of the day, whether you have a Trump, whether you have um, Minister Farrakhan, regardless, there's always going to be people that speak freely and you can, you can, however you take it in, is that's completely upon you. You feel what I'm saying? So it's not necessarily that anything is like uh, a power grab or. Uh, or things of that nature, you feel me? So it's like you're allowed to speak how you want to on this platform, just like you were giving your opinion about it. But everything isn't about white supremacy. And the reason why I'm speaking about this is because I feel that a lot of times black people or people that speak for black people only feel that when certain things occur is that it's all about white superiority. And to me, honestly, that's a mindset. You feel what I'm saying? It's like, if you feel that these people are superior or better than you, then you feel that everything that they do is more important. And to me, that gives them more power. We understand the certain constraints and we understand the certain restrictions and things like that. Do we, face on a daily basis that's just the life right it's not that you're accepting it but you understand of what you're going up against every day right but to speak on things and just give them so much power to me sounds that you are inferior you feel what i'm saying like i feel that there's black supremacy i feel like there's black power i feel like we have a voice we're able to speak freely we're able to move freely but a key piece in that is just changing that mindset to understand that these people are no different from us. But when we make statements like this, it's like we're scared of something. What are we scared of? You feel what I'm saying? So it's like we're giving them way too much power is what I'm saying. Is I don't give a damn who purchases Twitter. I don't give a damn if Trump comes on there and speaks. Is the Trump could come back and put Minister Farrakhan back on. Not that he speaks for every black person, but he has a voice. Anybody that wants to speak on anything, they have the right to do it. It's the First Amendment. So do as you please. Say as you please. It's just how we take it in 
it's just what it is. People are going to say things whether they get on a social media site or if they say it in their home. That's just how it's going to be. But giving them the power to just say that it's all about them, we have to be careful as black people or melanated people with always running to, hey, this is racism. This is this. This is th It does not... We understand that it's an important factor, but we have to, have to, have to break that mindset of they are the superiors. They are the elite. They are the chosen people. Like when we say shit like this, it doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? Like we, we have to get out of that mindset is because that's what's keeping us trapped to think that these people are that powerful. We give them that power by the tongue, like by this representation. Like, yes, he has money. Yes, he does everything. But everything in life does not revolve around just because you have money makes you more important than the next person. Money is important for you to do whatever you do, but we have to quit giving these people titles because something that they've made up is in money makes them powerful. Like if a black man had purchased Twitter or purchased any social media website, would this be the same conversation? This is about black power and black control. It doesn't matter. They're not going to say that. They're going to be looking at how they could uh, purchase something else. You hear what I'm saying? So, like, we mentally have to break that bondage of thinking that these people are that fucking important. They aren't. It's not that big of a deal. That's my response to this. And, you know, leave your comments below and let me know what you think. I think it's great that he purchased it. If you're not going to censor certain people, don't censor anybody. Let it be a free for all. That's just how the world is anyway. So, it doesn't matter. You know, just keep it real and keep it raw. But that's my response to that. Break that mindset, man. We're powerful. We're very intelligent people that have the ability to do whatever the hell we want to do and speak about whatever the hell we want to speak about. But quit giving them the power to say that it's white power and white control. That's that's just my thoughts on that, man. But, you know, this is your boy D. Rose, man. If I'm wrong, leave it in the comments. Uh, but as always, man, long live CC. I'm out.